You're welcome to Destiny Discovery with Pastors Dili and Temi Tape Balagun, a program designed to help you discover your destiny. It will also enlighten you on how you can identify your purpose, the specific steps you need to take, and the strategies to employ in achieving and fulfilling your purpose. Welcome to Destiny Discovery. You are. 
Let somebody shout hallelujah. You are all welcome to another edition of Destiny Discovery. It is my prayer that as we go through this edition, all your children and all members of your family will surely fulfill their destiny. For some times now, we have been looking at the ordeals of the firstborn. We have been looking at the ordeals of the firstborn. And we have emphasized that what we are discussing actually concerns everyone. If you are not a firstborn, you might be a child of a firstborn. One way or the other, you will discover that you are related to the firstborn. You may even get married to the firstborn. And I pray that all our firstborn will surely fulfill their destinies in Jesus' name. We have been looking at the ordeals of the firstborn. We have looked briefly at the life of, at the life of Cain. We also studied the life of Abraham, who happened to be the firstborn of his dad. We look at the life of Isaac, who was also the firstborn. We also look at the life of Esau, who was also the firstborn of his dad. But today, we want to look at the ordeals of another firstborn by the name Reuben, Reuben. As a foundational scripture, i like us to read Genesis chapter 49. Genesis 49, verses 3 and 4. Genesis 49, 3 and 4. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. First four, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, then defilest thou it, he went up to my coach. Reuben was the firstborn of Israel, the firstborn of Jacob. As we have seen it in this scripture, when Israel, when Jacob was about to die, he invited all his children. He said, gather yourself together unto me. I want you to begin to come up according to your age, and I will tell you what will become of you after I have gone. So we are looking at Reuben, the firstborn of Jacob. I like to say by the virtue of the fact that Reuben was the firstborn of Jacob, he was entitled to several opportunities. Every firstborn is entitled to some opportunities that may not be available to all other children. Maybe that is why the enemy is targeting the firstborn. Like I said in the previous lecture, if you are a firstborn, you are a superstar. Because Reuben happened to be the firstborn of Israel, he actually was a superstar. There are some essential benefits that are readily available to Reuben as the firstborn. Number one, 